Welcome everyone. Today we are going to go through the Health Fit app. This is a really cool app in the Apple App Store that you can use for those of you who are Apple Watch users that want to actually export your workouts to various other places like Strava, um, Training Peaks, or anywhere else. That, like if you just want the, the Fit file or you want to send this to Dropbox or wherever, it's a great place to send your workouts to another piece of software it also does some other things so let's get in let's go into the app and i'm going to show you some of the cool things that it does okay so the first thing i've done here is i've opened up the app you can see it on my screen now just to mention the, this app is only 3.99 it's not free but what it does is so powerful it's only a one-time fee of four dollars it's totally worth it for those of you that, that are in the ex exercise, want to analyze your workouts, and want to be able to send them somewhere. So when you open up the screen and you see all your workouts, you can click on any. These are all the workouts that you've done using your Apple Watch or even anything else. Like when I use my Garmin's, they're all stored right here. I can, I simply, I can scroll up and down and see my workouts. They show me a nice little visual of the GPS. I can click right on the workout. And look, it's gonna show me the GPS, it's gonna show me some things about my heart rate, um, that I can look at a bunch of different statistics like my pace, heart rate, my cadence, this is from a run, my elevation, I can look at my start time, speed, all kinds of different information. You can see as I'm scrolling here, the different information that they have. They even have a VO2 max estimate. How cool is that? Nice little VO2 X max estimate. And what I really like, this is a new feature of the HealthFit app, is they have your trim training load, like your trim score, which is really cool. That's like a measure of how hard was your workout um, based on your heart rate. Um, which is really cool. And then they have all your heart rate zones that you can set. Um, you can see whether you were in, you know, zone one, two, three, four, five, and then some other things like what was the weather, where was this taken from? So you can see this is what a workout looks like taken from your Apple Watch. Now, if I was going to click on like my Garmin, you can see basically the same data. It didn't capture all the GPS data, but it's got my heart rate and my cadence and some of this other cool, all the rest of the other information is all here, like my heart rate zones, my training load pretty cool stuff okay but that's just like okay so i have all my workouts but what's next okay so what do you the point of the app is that you click select up in the corner here i can pick any number of these workouts and i can pick where i want to send them if you notice at the bottom of my screen here there's now a little strava symbol a uh, training peak symbol and dropbox symbol that's because i've set that if i clicked that strava button it would send these workouts to strava now you can send this set this to do this automatically you can set it so you can do it manually and in addition to just strava and training peaks by clicking that little see the little three uh right next to the dropbox the little three dots if i click that i can send it to any of these other pieces of software tons and tons of options here which is really cool like run alize uh, sports tracks i can send it to onedrive to my mailbox um, to anywhere final surge almost anywhere you're going to be analyzing your data and you can always just send it to dropbox and then take the fit file and upload it to anywhere else that you would like to okay so that's how you actually upload a workout super easy to do i love it very easy to do i do use this app all the time for that reason okay but the app has some other things, some other features built in. So they have something called statistics. Your statistics are basically like some things that the app points out. Like, for example, I can see right away this month, um, I've done six workouts so far. And you can see compared to my last month, where am I? You can see like strength training past 12 months. I can start to look for trends like running. Have I increased or decreased my running? Year to date strength training, year to date running, um, energy, all kinds of different statistics here, which is really nice that I can just go in and see like my swimming, my biking, my walking, my rowing, anything I've done, they've got a, my surfing, which is pretty cool. I have surfed seven hours so far. All right, that's good. I, I want that number to be way up. More time I spend surfing, the better. All right, so you can see they offer a lot of different types of statistics here. Then even better, I can go into my health metrics and they show me like a daily snapshot of everything I've been doing. So you can see like Tuesday, well, first of all, for today already, it's showing me my calories, my what my HRV is based on like my Apple Watch calculating it. Um, 
what's my resting heart rate, my steps. And basically it's a, it's a, just a breakdown of everything about what you're doing. It's actually, I like this better, this breakdown. It's much more similar to Garmin's ecosystem than Apple health. I actually like this a lot better. So I use this health fit to just check my statistics. So it's more than just uploading software. It's I'm looking at my statistics. So it's really cool. I can look at these statistics all the time, which is just awesome. I can click the more button. And again, that's just going to bring up all the options for the app. Okay. So when I do that, I've got where, where do I want to send these workouts to? But then I have, do I want to add any files? Do I need to import any files? I can import files from Dropbox if I need to, or somewhere else. Um, if there was a workout not captured here, um, what are my units supposed to be? What is my max heart rate? That's how they figure out my heart rate zones. Um, do, and then here are the options for like, how do I actually, what is happening to my workouts? So workout naming and synchronization happens automatically. That means they're automatically, any workout that goes into Apple health, this pulls automatically. I don't need to send it. Um, I do not have my workout sent anywhere from the app automatically, but I could very easily set that up. And then you can see just all the options. Like I prefer export format as a fit file. You can choose what kind of format you would want that to be. Um, do I want it to sync anywhere? I don't have it set, but you can see the different options. Lots of features, very easy to use. Basically this tool allows you to, it captures all your workouts and allows you to send them to other places for $4 totally worth it. It's, it's something that's needed in Apple's ecosystem. Apple should just be providing this service, but it does not. So you pay the $4 and voila, you can do it. The app has been updating itself. The developers are consistently updating it. And what do I mean by that? Like a few weeks ago, when you clicked on a workout, there was no trim score. So like that training load is a new feature they've added. These uh, health metrics where you can get a daily snapshot of your day is also pretty new. Um, so they're adding and and I don't need to pay more. I paid the $4. I have the app one time. So it's really great that they do things like that. So I think the app is totally worth it. If you're using Apple's watch, it's almost needed. There are a few other options that do similar things. Um, so you do need something because Apple's ecosystem does not just automatically send it to all these different places that you would like to. Um, so you, there, these are the options. Health Fit is a great option. $4, good app. I do use it all the time. I think it's a great, um, really great way to analyze your workouts and a good way to send things. Thanks all.